main page is my username, my profile picture, the wallet address from uh, Taurus, uh, and just a quick summary of um, my donations to addresses that I um, projects that I donated, my projects if I have any, um, and total value of my assets in my wallet could be this. Uh, I talked about this with uh, Willie. We thought we should just you know show some stats over here. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of what we can show further on this page, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, but that's basically just the landing page here for the my account. Uh, and then uh, we got my project. Uh, this is um, if you know, basically all the projects that you have uh, created. If there are none, the only thing that you will see on the screen is the call to action create a project here. Um, that's it. My my donations uh, should actually be um, just a list of donations with that are um, searchable, and you can filter them based on the currency, whether it's uh, fiat or or crypto. Uh, should be something really simple, and the uh, uh, the project uh, name is actually a link to the pro public view of the project. Right. Uh, and I also added here the. the pagination so in case we need it in the future so that you guys know that thing exists um that's basically it we've broken down the the my account into three main sections and then what is below here the, the smaller links uh is are the wallet settings which basically redirect to the uh tours uh report a bug which also redirects to whatever discord or what whatever we're going to be using uh, as well as the support, uh, if we're going to be embedding something like on-site support, you know, bottom right corner, chat with an agent kind of thing, something like that, uh, and a sign out button uh, or a link, right, so that you get sign out um, out of your tourist account. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically it. Pretty simple for for the MVP. I don't think we we need anything else um, at this stage. And also, uh, one final thing is the the added project uh, that we talked about uh, earlier. Uh, this is basically just one page where you have all the details about the project that you have uh, entered during the created project flow. Uh, and you can change all the details uh, and update it here. Uh, and also the issue that was uh, posted by Willie to change the donation address, it's, um, it's put here uh, at the bottom. And an option to to connect your bank account if you want to receive uh, donations in fiat. Uh, the link here. Uh, so basically, when you click, click the connect, it's the Stripe connect uh, in a similar fashion that we have on the Creative Flow. Yeah. Uh, and we should put there also, uh, and also the, uh, sorry the the timeline the, no, the no, dates. Go ahead. We should also put oh, yeah. the edit of the project, the timeline, and the... Uh, no, no. So there, the, my idea was not to mix those two. Uh, uh -huh. This is just the editing a project. And then when you post the timeline, you uh, something on from the updates, uh, that you can do that on the project uh, owner view, project details page, but owner view. And that's what okay. I created over here. So if you go follow me up here. Got it. You see this? So basically, you as the owner of the project or the creator, uh, you see here the edit button uh, mm -hmm. where you can add the details. Uh, you can post an update here. Um, and and yeah, that's basically it. So this, this is the view. I totally you... missed that. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, now. really? You missed that? Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> OK. Uh, by the way, this is also, yeah. Uh, I created a prototype, so basically all these pages are, are link connected. So if you uh, click the play button in the Figma, it opens up the prototype, and you can just click around it and see some some of these pages and awesome. how it works. Um, so yeah, as an owner, uh, basically you get you get this page here where you can up, uh, post updates. We, yeah, um, this is yeah, really we, cool. I just I just want to say this looks really cool, Marco. I, Mad respect, man. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Great job. Great job. Uh, I'm. I always say I'm not the smartest person in the room. So you guys, <laughs> if you have any, you know, um, suggestions, uh, you know, you've seen something works on other sites that you use before, and it's a cool thing, and we should include it. 
uh, or you know stuff like something like for example Brian mentioned now for the you know, linking this stuff it's you know I, I miss some stuff also along the way so don't hesitate to leave a comment ask a question or or suggest or whatever right no idea is a bad idea all right well yeah, yeah, like right, I, said, yeah. I just want to echo that marco really the more feedback we can get marco the better so if you have the opportunity to not don't be shy just throw comments on that figma yeah right um this is the only project of its kind so it's really like i mean we have that opportunity to draw from a lot of other projects like similar but no no other project is accepting crypto like this one is for philanthropic um like purposes so i i'm i don't know if the my point was that there's sort of an idea of like we can really push the boundaries in design um I don't know. I just think that, yeah, there's nothing else like this out there. So that's good. All right. Um, did anyone have anything else to say? Yeah, plenty. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, of course, uh, I'll be happy to do that on any. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's growing, I agree. Uh, and I always try to mock up and prototype everything so that you guys when you even when you open a prototype and just click around, you know, things pop up and, and open and you can basically interact with it like it's a real website i try to do that as much as possible so that it's like for you developers and anyone on the project pretty clear how the things work um and for that reason i add these models and pop-ups and you know try to think of every every interaction but again if i if i missed something or or there's there's something to be improved or you think it's better otherwise you know just just post a comment in the figma or or let me know directly all right um, uh and yeah that, that's that's all for my end i know i i i took a lot of our time uh i just had one last question is a um, join our community um issue that i've been assigned to on the page that i'm designing um should we be using the legacy content for um from give it io or should I change something there or or should I put a placeholder just and then someone will take care of the copy? No, that's fine. That's that's for that part. Um, no, no problem. I was I was more referring to whether we want to include more more content, um, other links to other sections, um, whatever different copy, or we just want to put an intro and then those two three links to our public uh, channels, and that's all.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and question uh regarding that do we need to boost our server discord server to get this functionality okay Okay. Oh, contentful. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I I can suggest uh, for the for the prof uh, you know profile content uh, for each team member to provide short bio uh, photo that they'll want um, links and something like that maybe in, in in the same form as we have it here in the contentful. Uh, will that work? Ah, okay, okay. If if it will make your life easier, I can adjust the the layout and the design, or or you can just. Um, Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a Yeah, some links or something. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. can. Everyone is invited to, to give feedback.
Yeah, yeah, fair comment. Um, I don't like to or, or tend to hide content if there's no need to, uh, just for the sake of some, you know, fancy animation. I rather want to show it, but yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, we can try that out as well. No worries. Okay. Um, um, well, do you guys want to keep moving? I think we've got we've got like another twenty minutes. Uh, actually, fifteen more minutes. So we've got like a few other things that we wanted to um, catch up with on the agenda. Um, but this is so, Griff. Um, did you want to talk a little bit more about the maximum from Telegram, the roadmap? Yeah. I, I'm just curious uh, if we have sort of um, you know targets for launching the MVP, and then uh, based off that, also targets for. Uh, um starting the white label which is what they're very excited about any dates uh, or what, what are, how are we uh, managing that well i think i don't know <laughs> It's hard. To, it's hard for me to say. I I don't know. I'd have to really talk to the developers. I'd leave that one to them. Here we are. Uh, yeah. So so uh, what do you guys think? It, what's blocking us from MVP and and how do we how do we smash through it to get this baby launched? And does anyone have a guess on when we can do it? That's like three questions there. I, yeah, I mean, is it is it possible to? Is it, would it be possible to start cutting some of the scope of uh, what we're working on, like around the the softer layers, to I don't know, help yeah. push the the things that are blocking the next milestone? Yeah, I wanted to mention that because some of the functionality that we are tackling now is settings and some things that are maybe optional for the user. So the, maybe the main flow could be priority for, let's say, the eight weeks that, that Kai said, for, for example. So if we focus on the main uh, functionalities that could get the donator to donate and the projects to get donations, we could manage that maybe a more uh, fast and reliable milestone nice. that, that we can discuss uh, Ben and the rest of the development for my part. Uh, Camilo and I have been working really nice with, with the Stripe. So that donation from the fiat on the uh, crypto side is looking really, really nice. So for at least for that part as a donator, uh, we we see really nice uh, lights <laughs> in the tunnel. Nice. So, yeah. But what do you guys think about December first? Is that is that too tight? I mean, yeah. we were we were talking about launching a month ago, uh, two yeah. months ago, right? We were thinking we were only a month out. I feel like we're running into the classic scope creep where we're working yeah. on all, all the, like building this beautiful thing 
I mean, do we need a team page to launch? I, I'm going to go with no, you know, like, like I don't think it yeah. stops us from launching the MVP. And, and if, if we could start maybe asking these questions on everything we're working, like, is this part of the MVP milestone or is it something that we can leave out? Uh, you know, because we will be, I feel like we'll be so energized by having an actual working website where people can donate um, that uh, it'll make everything else easier. Yeah, I think I think you're right, Griff. I think a lot of these features can be grown into um, through users and iteration. Like, like, it looks fantastic, but it looks on par with like really, really, really successful websites that have earned their design like aesthetics and the features that they're implementing. So we should keep it like fairly simple um, and then like let the donation flow and the user base come together into like adding all these extra features that I think we're implementing like early. Yeah. I mean, I think it's important to know where we're going. Like, yeah. Uh, the yeah. Designs yeah. need to be there. Yeah, keep them. I mean, like save them, but like yeah. ready to deploy, but not like initially. Yeah. yeah. I, I definitely know that. Definitely. So we should we should pick the most important ones, like the most important features. Like, what's the core critical thing, and how can we get this out, like, like as soon as possible? I have a suggestion. So, So I think, it, yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. May I, may I suggest this something? isn't this isn't going to be easy. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, if uh, I suggest that you that we everybody set up another call uh, for the roadmap planning, so that we lay out all the features uh, and all, yeah. all the pages that need to be done, prioritize them, and then evaluate all together as a team, so that uh, every you know every developer will then um, evaluate each um, issue or whatever we're really creating. And based on that, we will know exactly the the timeline of you know when we're going to be shipping those, plus minus something whatever. So maybe the next uh, dev call on on Sunday, preferably, uh, to be the roadmap planning call, uh, and that way we we have a clear picture what does our roadmap looks like. If that's something that we haven't done already, um, I suggest that that will add a lot of clarity to you know the timelines and where we're heading and what are what are we prioritizing. And also in that roadmap, I would say that we we have focus on the wide leveling in the eventual process uh, that that jumping in the give it space because maybe some backend functionality or maybe some front end decisions that we are making now will be needed for the eventual uh, wide label functionality. So I believe that is even as important as 
to ship this MVP as soon as possible because that's the real goal that we're heading at. And regarding regarding the white label, um, I have a question. What are the design implications for that? Um, do do we need to um, redesign, reskin? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but I definitely agree with them. So let's do that Sunday. Uh, we'll schedule that for the roadmap for Sunday. Um, I'll put that on the agenda. Um, Mark, that's a great idea. I think we should um, check that out and like, make some solid decisions about the features that we're implementing. Um, let's keep moving. We've only got uh, five more minutes. Um, uh, just really quick, when when did you say that call was going to happen, the road mapping call? Sunday. Sunday is part of the Dev2? Yeah. OK. We should consider even make it that, that uh, meet a little longer, maybe half an hour. Definitely. Definitely. So, yeah. yeah. And also uh, create a create a story or epics on GitHub so that you can then um, kind of prioritize them and estimate them, and so that they're already in the in the GitHub. And based on yeah. that, maybe you can create a, a better better view of the roadmap. That's my suggestion. Um, you can even use the you know traditional story points uh, estimations uh, on on each epic or user story. Um, you can you can do that even that uh, if it helps or or just have a conversation. See see what fits. Okay. All right. Um, so let's uh, let's move along to where were we on this agenda? Um, Kai, you have. Uh, did you want to, speaking of, did you want to talk about too many meetings or how do you feel about, um, did you think, did you want to talk about that a little bit more? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think I think Sunday will be also pretty good. That'll get us like along. Um, that's good. All right, and um, so what about everyone grokking how our style works? Do we want to? It's make it. Okay.
Yeah, now that you mentioned that, I'm going to refactor some of the responsiveness because that's cool. I didn't know that. That viewport kind of uh, array, I, I will reimplement some of the styles that I did. And also, talking about things that may not work, <laughs> has anybody else have trouble with the debugger? Like sometimes it just breaks or you have to double save the file so it renders the change, or is it me? Uh, I've been having kind of that same thing where the routines don't reflect. So it's a weird thing where like, I don't know, so I'm just seeing it gaps because I'm, when I'm working next, it just saves yeah. one change. Uh, I think it's like moving the cursor to the line and then saving for some reason actually like, reflects it immediately. You add the line and save like, and it works. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, like let's, so like if you go to line 19, whatever screen this is, Okay, this is Kyle, yeah. So if you change like one S in the uh -huh. mission, update mission, and then like you save at that point, it doesn't really reflect, but if I move the cursor to the end of the line and then click save, for some reason it actually shows up. Well, on my computer, I, I don't know if, but I do recognize what you're saying, uh, Mateo, about like yeah. the debugger doesn't really play well or something. Maybe you could try that and help. Yeah, I will check also if maybe the, so there is some update in the, in the library in Gatsby yeah, I, or, or not. Because that's really annoying. I mean, <laughs> it's yeah the worst. Anyway, yeah. Uh, sorry, also, Kai, uh, that JSX thing, I was also kind of confused about that as well because sometimes it works and sometimes the, the build fails because I have it or not have it. And, I'll also do some research as well. So. Okay, um, yeah, it's the top of the hour. So why don't we, uh, it's a little past actually, um, why don't we call it for today and then we can bring some of this stuff up um, on Sunday, um, finish out and then we can extend the, like, so how, how long do you guys wanna go Sunday as far as um, uh, setting up the, um, the feature cleanup? The roadmap. The feature. Yeah, the roadmap. How far do you guys want to do two hours Sunday? Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, so uh, then let's go to the calendar. Let's look at a calendar. Normally we are, um, normally we're having our, um, our, meet, our uh, community meetings on at 10 and then um, so why don't we do like, uh, do you want to push, we can push the, the community meeting back an hour and that way we can do the um, cleanup or the uh, roadmap meeting from like 10 to 12. Is that too late for you guys? If we can avoid uh, changing a meeting, I would say that would be preferred like uh that other meeting has some people that go to it you know and yeah, changing yeah. on them seems okay it, so either... do you want to do it yeah i hear you do you want to do it before or after
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> um, right, right. Okay, so we'll just um, we'll just keep the community meeting um, like as it is, and then um, just meet like an hour ahead, like an hour before the community meeting. Does that sound good, everybody? Can you guys manage that? I think that 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 works for all the time zones. That would be two hours before the community meeting, no? Yeah, to to make it longer, two hours before. Two hours before. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll get I'll get um, uh, invitations out and everything, um, and um, I'll have the agenda and everything like that for you. And um, if you have any, as always, if you have any like things that you want to add to the agenda, I'll have like a link. That's what I'm gonna start practicing. That's gonna be my thing. Is gonna be having the agenda up in the chat room like beforehand. So feel free to add to it, um, and then we can just uh, we can go from there. So, all right, everybody, thank you very much. We'll uh, we'll see you Sunday. See you. All right, bye, bye everyone. Bye. Ciao.